Hey guys, it's Tazzy Mallow, and today I'm going to be reviewing Melon Pop Slime. I'm really excited because I came upon her shop while I was scrolling through Etsy, and not only is she from Adelaide like me, but her slime store was just so cute that I couldn't pass up the opportunity to purchase from her. When I opened her package, I was really surprised because oh, straight away yeah. it was like everything was wrapped in pastel pink really um, tissue paper really? and on top of that yeah. it was just so full so and you could see the little extras packet yeah, and then under the tissue paper was also bubble wrap which I thought was so cute and it wasn't just normal bubble wrap, it was beautiful purple bubble wrap which just made the aesthetic so nice. She also included a little extras bag with candy and a thank you note and I just thought it was so cute. I'm sorry for the cringy ASMR in this video, I actually lost all my audio for this so I've included at the end of this video a little segment of ASMR of her slimes just so you can hear the bubble pops and at the moment what you can hear now is the camera audio so you're just going to have to live with it. In her little extras bag, she just included, like I said, some candy, a business card, um, an invoice for the purchase, as well as a slime care sheet and some borax. It was a very thoughtful and nice little bag, and I really like her logo and everything like that. It's cute, but also professional. I also do like that she included everything she included. The slime I reviewed last week, Panda Slimes, which is a much bigger and well-known slime store, actually didn't go to this effort and include these small things that this shop did, so it's already a big thumbs up from me. And just isn't that beautiful, the purple bubble wrap under the tissue paper? I personally thought it was so cute. What I'm unwrapping now is actually an extra slime. I ordered three slimes and I'll link them all on the screen. But this one came for free as an extra and I was so thrilled that not only, only did this store give a beautiful care sheet and candy and extras but also an extra slime. And I got all that and I only purchased like three slimes and all the slimes were so cheap so I was shocked. I'd also like to mention that this slime store has released a YouTube video and it's going to have another store restock. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll link their channel down below. And like, these are some of my favourite slimes, so I definitely recommend them. Already, the slimes just look so nice. Like, they're all filled up, the packaging is all beautiful. It's exactly what I ordered and I'm really impressed and I haven't even played with this slime yet. So I'm starting with the free extra slime. The slime room I have, it was like 40 plus degrees when I filmed this because I live in Australia. So like no matter what slime it is, no matter where it's from, it just <laughs> melts. It has nothing to do with the slimes or the store. I probably should have recorded it on a cooler day. But no matter how much I activate it, as I play with it, the slime will just melt again. Again, nothing to do with the store. It was just too hot. But I tried to get some footage and I really, really do like the texture and how all these slimes feel I just wish I could have recorded a bit better because it was just so hard because it would just all melt because it was so hot you can also see but this slime dyed my hand a bit I've been playing with these slimes a lot since I recorded this and it hasn't done that since I think it only dyed my hand because of the sheer heat and I really don't think it has anything to do with the slime but I thought I would mention it it was a very nice slime and it was scented like all the other slimes. I can't quite put my finger on what the scent was but it was definitely a nice scent and overall I did really like this slime. This is the first slime I purchased. This one is caramel waffle cream. This was a last minute decision but I'm really glad I got it. The first thing I noticed when I opened it was it had a beautiful scent. It was so nice and it was strong but not too strong. The slime was also very glossy and nice. 
But what I wasn't expecting were well, there were two little waffle pieces in there and I just thought that was so cute. They were like kind of a hard foam and I hadn't felt anything like it. I'm not going to lie, as soon as I finished playing with this, I was on eBay looking where I could find these because they felt so cool. This was just a beautiful and fun slime to play with. It was nice and thick, but not too thick. The sprinkles were beautiful, and when you let it sit, it almost had like three layers. The top layer with the waffles and the little foam beads, and then the middle layer with slime, and then at the bottom the sprinkles. It just made it beautiful. It looked beautiful. The second slime is Lime Yours. And this was like a lime themed icy slime. This was so sizzly and so fun to play with. It wasn't wet like some icy slimes. It was a really nice texture and consistency. I think it had a lime themed smell. It was very nice, but not a true lime smell. And I think it's just because true lime smells are very hard to come by. And I also didn't notice at first, but if you look very closely, there's some small heart pieces of confetti and I thought that was so cute. I just couldn't get over how sizzly and how holdable and nice this slime was. I really, really like it. This slime, as well as pretty much every other slime in this package, they all inflated so much after I played with them that none of them would fit back in their containers except for the butter slime. I actually had the end had to take the top off that wouldn't fit and put it in a Ziploc bag just because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get them back in their containers. The third slime is Bubblegum Ramune and this is the slime that originally made me click into a store. I saw it and I haven't seen anything like it before and I really 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 like Ramune so I clicked it and I was like wow this looks amazing and it smelled amazing. As soon as I opened the container it smelled exactly like you'd think Bubblegum Ramune would. It's amazing, it felt beautiful, I loved the idea, it was very unique, I loved the texture, the consistency of the clear slime is nice, which is really hard to get with clear slime. It was just a really nice slime and I'm really glad I got it. I'm so glad a store sells Ramune inspired slime and that this store did it so well. This store overall was one of my favourite slime stores. I'm definitely going to be purchasing from her again. Um, she's actually released a YouTube video of a new slime restock that's going to happen in her store. I'll link her channel and that video is down below in case you're interested in getting anything from her. I loved all her slimes and I've been playing with them ever since I got them. You might remember that the week before I posted a video rating panda slimes. And although I do like panda slimes, these are the slimes from her store that I'll go to grab to first just because they're so nice and I think her store needs so much more recognition because compared to the bigger stores like panda slimes here in Australia, this one is just the prices are amazing. The packaging is beautiful. You get an extras bag, which I didn't in my package from panda slimes. And I think overall I would probably rate this store 9.5 marshmallows out of 10 and I'd probably give it a 5 star Etsy review just because overall the experience was amazing and she truly does have some nice slimes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I'll also be leaving you with a short ASMR clip trying to dignify the situation of me losing all my audio. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!
only could talk just a little Find a place where the past is forgiven You moved on, I am stuck in the middle